we finish the string, right? Last week, uh, last time we finished uh, string and loop, right? I think so. And actually, I'm waiting for your homework. Oh yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. It's okay that you you slow down a couple of weeks, but uh, because of the final, take good care of your final, okay? But now today I am not going to go to chapter seven and continue. I'll, today I will actually give you a programming session. Is that okay? Um, okay. So the first thing I would like to work on is actually I work on uh, taking sum. Okay. Write a sum of some something. Okay. Calculation of some sum. So here, if we have a, a, a set of data, this we call it an array. Array is a set of data. So we have a set of integers, and you use a bracket over there. Okay. I try to calculate the sum of one to five, okay? So we have learned loop so far. And then here, I give you the first example of what is a loop for. So here, uh, we try to create some, okay? Create some for some uh, collection of data. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five. It actually, the answer is 15. Okay, so how does this work? Let me show you. Let me make it bigger, okay? So how does this work? You actually originally said sum to be zero, right? So initially you have the sum equals zero. Then you have the i equals zero, and then continue for how many times? What, what is at the length? Um, it's like how long a is, so like five, right? This is a counting the number of elements, right? Yeah. So it should be five, right? And then every time it's increasing. So basically, you look, go in, you check whether uh, initially your i equals zero, and then you check whether i is less than five or not, and you go into here. And after you go into here, each time you use the i number to get the data from a of i. So you assign a of i, and to, to what? Your sum increased by, right? So this increased by actually is, it actually means what? It's like sum plus sum, wait, sum equals sum plus a. Uh, yeah, yeah, it actually is sum equals that. And then you actually finish, finish this, 
this and then go here you actually increase your i right your i increase and go back to check right and is now now you get up so the first time you have <clears throat> you have zero right and then you get a of zero that is actually uh one so you one uh add to sum so sum becomes your sum become one second time you take a of one as two <clears throat> and then you add to your sum so one plus two it becomes three third time you have taken a of two right as three three plus three you add up with six right and then the next time you add, add four and you become ten the next one you have the five plus ten you get fifteen and after that your i becomes five and actually you fail on this test and you get out it's okay okay so that's the problem to having like, taking the sum for this okay now i want you uh, to share your screen i'll start sharing my screen and then i will give you a problem and you write a program is that okay uh okay so i stop sharing and then you share your screen okay I do. Mm, you need to share your screen. Okay. Right. okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now you create a new class. You uh, create a new class. What do I call it? Uh, D I C dice. Uh, capital. Capital, please. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to roll a dice. Uh, okay, then you clean up the middle part, add in the function called public static void main. Capital S, okay. Uh, you miss uh, uh yeah that's okay this is fine you can put there or put after stream this one oh. but you it will be better you put after stream okay both are ses accepted but <clears throat> most teacher will prefer you to put after the stream you miss a bird yeah add that first okay stay there stay there now, in between your first bracket and the public steady voidment, in between there, you put some function, steady function. Uh, you uh, add new line, yeah. Type steady uh, integer. No, 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 int. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should say int. And then space, T-O-S-S. Toes, right? And then break it, break it. I'm sorry, parenthesis. Parenthesis. Yeah, sorry. And then curly brace. Yeah, the code block, yeah, curly brace. Yeah. Now, give me, using this function, give me uh, the result for single die toast. So that will be, you, you try to create a random number. And then you uh, return me a random number that's ranging from one to six. Trying um, to return me a the, the result of a single toast. Wait, toast. Is like the thingy that you have to put on the very top for that? Like, oh. uh, never mind. Uh, What's your question? I, I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, never mind. So now this function is a toast function, right? Just like you roll a dice, right? That's why we call this a class as dice, right? Yeah. So now you need to give me a, create a random number that's ranging from one to six. Okay. 
I teach you, did I teach you the random number generator before? Yeah. What's the random number generation function? It's like randomized. Like, wait, uh, I forgot. That's chapter, chapter three or four, right? Now, stop right here. You go to your browser, right, and then open a new, uh, Open a new, yeah. Using Google, you type Twitter, T R I N K T E R, Twitter. T R I N K T E R, Twitter. No, there's no, uh, there's no K T E R, not K. Oh. Space. Sync Java. Sync, Sync Java. Space two E two second editions two E yeah and then return so you yeah and then the second one pick the second one pick the second one that's the your textbook right uh -huh. now you go back to chapter four click chapter four method and here okay search for the function you need over here I don't want to tell you search for the function that will give you the random number. Maybe you pass, it should be the from oh. first part. Not in this page. No, not in this page. Okay, let me read that. Okay, and I told you, okay, I don't know where it is, but okay, you go back, go back. The function's name is capital in, in the function, yeah. Over there, the function is capital M, A, T, H, the mass, but random, R, A, N, D, O, M, parentheses. Okay, this will give you the number between uh, zero and one, but not including one. Now you use this function to generate a the random number from one to six. Um, this one, this function itself will generate the random number from zero to one. Now you need to generate a number from one to six. Can you do that? Can you just write six? <laughs> okay, so this, uh, let me tell you, okay. Mass the random times six. times six, star six, okay. So mass star random is generating a number from zero to, to yeah. from zero to one, right? But not including one, right? So you, yeah. that's, that's assumed it's generating from zero to 0 0.999, okay? Now it times six, then what is the range of this result? This function's return. Zero to six, not including six. Yeah, so it will be zero to five nine nine nine, right? Yeah. Okay, then this one you put parentheses at the beginning and, and the at the end. Put parentheses bef before and after the mass that random stuff. Yeah. And then here before that, before the first parentheses, type a parentheses pair. And inside it, put int. What does this mean? This means that you have a double value number, and that number is ranging from zero to five nine nine, right? Mm -hmm. And then I change the data type to integer. Then after this, what would be the data of this uh, random number function, including the quantifier of int? What what would be the result? Zero to five. Uh, zero to five. Yes. So you have a zero to five, right? Mm -hmm. Now how, how can you generate this zero to five to become one to six? You just plus one. Yeah, at the, at the end of the, the equation, plus one. No, not, uh, it's okay, put it. 
put outside of Francis. Okay. Easier to remember, right? And then you got the one to six, then how can you return that to your main function? You just write return. Well, uh, yeah, so do that. Yeah, but return doesn't return it. Oh. You should put return in front of the integer. Uh, you should put there. You should put there, then you will return. That's one way you do it. Or you can set, you can use uh, int y equals this. That's also fine. And then return y. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, now you got this number uh, return by the toast function. So now you, your main function, let's do this. Your main function, let's assume that you uh, toast the die for five times. Can you do that? Uh, and then take in the sum for the toast for five times. Okay. Uh. No, you keep going on. I, I don't want to interrupt you until you finish. I'll keep you coming, okay? Okay. Keep right doing whatever you want to do. Wait, so you do it five, you roll it five times and you find the sum? I want you to toast the die for five times and take in the sum for that five toasts. Okay. So you keep thinking about it, you do it yourself, okay? I'm not going to interrupt you, just let you do it. First, you need to put the parentheses pair. Don't oh. write inside first, otherwise you will forget it, okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, make sure that you have your parentheses uh, break it, uh, all parentheses are paired. Okay? Okay. If I want to um, call the other one, do I just write int toss? Yeah, you, you're right, and I will tell you. And then you want to call the function, what do you do? No, this is not right. Oh. You need to call TOS uh, parenthesis that will return you the value, but you need to have someone to pick up the return value. Right, that's correct. So each time you sum, no, you don't need the in type. Oh. It is for declaration of a variable. You don't need that declaration of. Okay. But your toast, now you need to put parentheses. Without parentheses, it's a variable. It's not a function. A function need to have parentheses. Uh, then what else you, you need to do? You got the sum, right? Now what else oh. you need to do? You need to print it out. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, now stop here, okay? You finish this. Okay, the first error you have is i equals zero, but what i? Did you declare i or no? No. So in front of the i equals zero, you should put int in front of the i equals zero. That's the first error you have. Second error you have is after i equals zero, you should put semicolon uh, instead of period. So that's why that's in pink color and the rest of them are in, yeah. Okay, after that, you start it from i equals zero to i less than six. So how many times this loop will perform? Oh, seven. Wait, one, two, oh, six. Yeah, and I told you to do five times, so what should you do? Wait, five. Yeah, so it will be zero to four, and that actually is five. Now run it. Uh, 27. Uh, 27, good. Now go back to your dice. Let me do, let us do this. 
you actually uh, put this here compared to the window, the, uh, the rectangle window, the orange window. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, new class. Say dice two. I don't want to override it, so dice two. Okay, now you copy whatever in dice to dice two. Yeah, override it. Oh, and whatever, and then it's okay. So let it go. Go okay. to the dice two. Yeah, change the name dice to dice two. Yeah, okay, good. Change the number of time you play by to two, two times. Instead of praying five times, just do two times. Okay, that's good enough. Now, I would say that uh, you toast the die for two times, right? Mm -hmm. Then I would like you to do if the two times the toast is greater than 10 or if the number is odd number, then you win. So can you show me uh, whether you have a win game or losing game? Wait, so if it's greater than 10 or odd or, number? Or odd number, yes. Is that all? How to determine a number whether it's odd or even? Um, wait, can you use like the percent thing and then yeah 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 the percent thing is taking it the remainder the modulus so she, what, what should you take modulus some modulus by what right oh two yeah and then it's odd number so it's modulus should be what not equal to yeah good then what should you do wait now you win or lose right yeah it should be this time, it should be win or lose. Oh, this should be win. Okay, then type you win. Then move the line that you, ha you have the, the sum of the phytosis to be in front of this uh, if loop, if plus, yeah. Cut it and then cut it. Right mouse click cut, yeah. And then before the if if plot, yeah. Yeah, and then put two times some of the two toes, right? It's not five toes now. And then type the situation that you lose. What should you do? Oh. You say that you win or sometimes you, you lose. Else. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you do that? Yeah, I can continue. If it is wrong, I told you. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. You need to pair your parentheses every time. Is that pair right now, or what's wrong? What's wrong with the current problem? This time has some problem. What's wrong with this current line? Yeah, you uh, forget the, Yeah, you have forget the semicolon. Oh. Uh. No, it's inside. Inside the curry bread. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? You're wrong, and you will know. Oh. You better move the the closing curry brace to the next line. Okay. Now look better, right? Yeah. And wrong. Is it okay? Yeah. Wrong one more time.
Okay, that's good. Uh, wait, wait, how come she still have served? Do one, one more time. Okay, it's changing, right? Mm -hmm. Now go back. Go back to here. Now you create a new class called Dai 3. You know why I ask you to do dice one, dice two, dice three? So it doesn't over, right? Then you can remember, you know, how you develop oh. this program, right? Yeah. Yeah, then cover, copy whatever dice two to list the dice three. Then later, you, if you develop your own program, you can do similar way. Then you can keep track of the older version without overriding it. Change it to dice three. Now the goal of this dice three is, uh, you actually perform for two times, right? Now I want you to add a do while loop so that you can always ask the uh, player whether you want to continue a new game or not. And add that do while loop outside of the for loop and the if block. Can you do that? Wait, for outside loop. of the for loop? For loop and the if them else block. Oh. Do, uh, do, 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 oh. do, do, uh, parenthesis. Uh, no, 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 the open curly brace, right? And then to the end of the else, to the end of the else, to the end of the else, put another closing curly brace and push it over, push it back, push it back, mm -hmm. yeah, push back. Yeah, okay, ready, ready. And then you probably need to move the two, like uh, backspace one or two. Yeah, and then the closing one the same, and then your inter sum is also the same. You need to move move forward. Yeah, good. And then do and then what? What should you do? You need to put a while, right? Yeah. Put a while up to the closing bracket. It's not while loop. It's do while loop. And then parentheses, parentheses, and then semicolon. And then what should you do? Here you uh, need to put some boolean, right? So what should you do here? You put it down, D-O-N-E. As a boolean variable, right? But this boolean variable had not been declared, right? Yeah. So you should declare the boolean variable before while loop. No, not here. Oh. Uh, before the do while loop. Here? Yeah, before that. No, not there. Another line. Open your do that, yeah. While done should be true or false. Um, while done equals false, right? False, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you are done. You, I mean, you are boolean. You need to declare done. Oh. Right, and done. You initially can give you some value. Initially, the boolean tongue equals false, please. Yeah, now, you need to ask the player whether you want to continue or not, right? Uh-huh. So you should type a message like, do you want to continue? And then yes or no, right? Where should you uh, put it? Um, uh, after, I mean, After you win or lose, right? Yeah. After you win or lose, right? Go, go. Yeah. Over. over here? Yeah. System that out of print line. And then type uh, parenthesis, parenthesis. Up to the question mark, put parenthesis, parenthesis. Oh. No, 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 not here. Up to the question mark. Up to the question mark. Parenthesis, parenthesis, inside there type capital Y slash lower uh, upper capital N, right? You want to ask people whether you want to pray or not pray, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what should you do? After that, what should you do? Okay, say Boolean, wait, if. You need to 
use scanner, right? Yeah. For input, okay, to import a scanner. You know how to import scanner? Uh, you have to like write something on the top. First line, yeah, go. I forgot what you have to write. Okay, it's okay. I M P O R T import space Java import I M not I N. Oh. I M P O R T import. That U T I L. That capital S. Scanner, yeah, capital. Yeah, that's good. And then what you do? Semicolon. Semicolon, yes. And then go back to your uh, main function. Before the int sum equals zero. Before that one. Before the int sum equals zero, right? You need to declare the scanner. And on top of there, you put scanner, right? Okay, you type whatever you want to do. Uh, is it like scanner dot in? Or no, something? space in. Oh. Equals new. Space, capital scanner. Parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. Inside there, what you put? Scanner is a scanner. What you put? System that in right. Remember that. Oh uh, yeah. I teach you how to read in file, right? Yeah. No, it's okay. You got a scanner, right? Now what? You now you need to ask people. Uh, oh, you already right. ask people. Then you should take the result back, right? Yeah. So what should you do? What variable should you declare here? Should it be Boolean or should it be? Should it be Boolean or should it be a uh, integer or should it be a string or should it be a character? Um, I think the character actually um Boolean. Wait, character. It can be a character or string. Which one is better? Character. Okay, you try character. Uh, wait, did you like the scanner thing? Yeah, character equals what? Character whatever. I forgot. Character is C H A R, char. Say C space C H. Equals new, uh, no, no, not new. The uh, equals in I N that what a system a scanner. No, system. that next line, right? Oh, you can use next or next line. It's okay. The line should be capital. Parenthesis, parenthesis. And this actually in that next line give you a line, right? It's a string, right? So it's okay. Now you need to get the first character. What you do to get a first character? Oh, uh, last chapter we talk about it. You know, last time we talk about it. that character at C H A R. Wait. After the yeah, after after that. No, 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 no. Uh oh. It's outside the parentheses. But. C H A R A T capital A. Capital A T parenthesis parenthesis. Inside there put zero. Right? Now you get the, your first character. You can type a long line, but they will just read the first later, right? Now and then then you what you do? You determine whether it's yes or no, right? Yeah. So if yes, down should be true or false. If yes, done is false yeah and if if it is actually is if no then what should so you use the if write the if statement to, to determine it no you will ch ch yeah 
Iko, you use it tabo iko or iko? Tabo. Mm -hmm. Do you need quotes for? Single quote, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. single quote. Single quote, why? Yeah. Then what should you do? Um, then. Um, then done equals. Mm -hmm. And then you, and otherwise it would, would be what? Oh, done equals true. Yeah. Hey, put a pair first. Oh. Put a pair of the, yeah, no matter what you do, put a pair first. Good enough? I think so. Wrong. Look at your result. Oh, he's asking you to pray or no? Then? Uh, then how uh, comes it's gone? Um, Wait, go back to look at your program. Was anything wrong in the, over there? If. So this. Uh, wait, um, uh, should this be outside? Something wrong, right? Apparently yeah. something wrong. Why, why, why is this wrong? Over here. No, it's not. Oh, is it the it, do while loop? Yeah, royal, or something wrong with the tongue and the force. Something wrong with the, why? Oh, wait, does this one have to be double? Three, oh, no. single or double? Single? Double. Yeah? Single. Double? Which one? Double. Why? Why you need to use double? Oh, single? Why should you, you should use single? Give me a reason. You can have by guessing why, why you need to use a double or why you should use a single. Um, What's the difference? A single is like for like a number, right? No. Or like adding. Okay. No. <laughs> single, I told you, is assignment. Oh. Double is checking for equality. Uh -oh. So here is that assignment of checking equality. Um, checking equality? Yeah. No, sign oh. Okay. Wait, which way? You need to be sure about your answer. Checking equality. Yeah, this is checking equality. Then wrong. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. How come uh, you change that? Not. That's the assignment. It's not checking equality. You tell it right, and then you change it. Be, be sure what you are doing. What What is assignment? You change the value of tongue, right? Yeah. That's uh, assignment. You, if you just check whether the tongue is true or false, that's checking equality, okay? Okay. Then wrong it. You must be sure about what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Which way you need, need to be sure, okay? Then what should you do? Right? One more time. Yeah, get out, right? Wrong again. Okay, good enough. So you have learned some useful program, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's, next one, I want you to print a nine by nine uh, multiplication table. Um. So new class multiplication table. Yeah, good. And then go there, clean up garbage. Now put your public whatever. Okay, now you, you start yourself. I just watch you do programming. Uh, give me a multi. Let's try not nine by nine. Let's do three by three first. 
Is that okay? Okay. How can you write a multiplication table of three by three? Let's simplify. How do you, can you print uh, one, two, three for three times? One, two, three. One, two, three for three times. Um, you can do a loop. Whatever, write for me. I just simplify. Oh. One, two, so one, two, three, change line. One, two, three, change line. Is that okay? Or Wait, three one, two, okay. one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that. Okay. Or three line. You do whatever you want to do. Just do one, two, three for one time first. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It's four loop. Oh. Even one, two, three for one time is a four loop. Okay. Go. I equals zero. I want you to print one, two, three, right? One, two, three, then why, why you need to start from zero? Oh. And then, wait, how comes you, it's a for loop, it's not, it's not while loop. Huh? It's for loop, now you are writing a for loop. So semicolon, no, semicolon is inside. Hey, go back to check your dice 203. What should you put on the for loop? Uh, oh, oh yeah. I less, yeah. I less than how much? I less than two. Wait, I, I asked you to do one, two, three, then you, why why you less than two? Oh, less than one. Wait, I want you to pr print from I from one to three, one, two, three, then how come it's less than one? Then then you print nothing. Uh, so two? No. Or, or I is equal to one? No, you, you need to print I from one to one, two, and three, right? Um, then, then, then how comes that you, you actually, I should be less than what? It's starting from one and then it need to be less than what? How much? Two. Then you just print one. Yeah. No, that's incorrect. Oh. You, I want you to print one, two, and three. Then you started from I equals one. Then the, you need to stop at where? Three, so four, four. That's then four, yes. And semicolon, and then I increase. Okay, put the pair of the curly braces. Okay, inside there, what should you do now? Um, okay. Then the print, that out the print. I want you to put in one line. Oh, okay. Wait, how can you, what are you doing? Oh, uh, never mind. Okay. What should you print now? Like that? No. You have I. I want you to use I. Uh, okay. Just put an I there. Yeah, that's wrong. So one, two, three, right? Yeah. But is that the multiplication table format? No. No, go back. What should you do now? Put some space between numbers. Wait. Yeah. What do you do? That? Will that work? 
um, oh, do, do that. Yeah, and then run. Okay, you need to do the system dot out dot print line, uh, dot out dot print, double code, backslash F to clean up the whole thing. We don't want to look, see the okay. cut. You need double code in front of them. Is that a backslash or forward slash? Um, a forward slash. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> what do you have? You print the uh, same one time, right? Now I want you to print three times. Okay, stop. Change the name to M uh, MT. If the name is too long. You probably don't want that. Change the name to MT. Okay. Then compile and run. Wait, how come so you miss it? You did the one, of, yeah. Oh. Okay, and wrong. Okay, good enough. Now I want you to do MT2. Right? Now you, uh -huh. you finish this, you finish a single line of printing one, two, three. I want you to do print MT2 now. MT2 is to print for two times, uh, three times, I'm sorry. Okay, copy MT1, MT0, yeah, copy to MT2. Okay, change the name back to MT2. Okay, now you need to do this for three times and each line you need to finish, change line after each time. Now you do three times. Wait, no, you need to write another loop. Oh, wait, what? You need to write, use the for loop to do this for three times. Okay. You, your I is already used, change to other name. Yeah, whatever name. Three times? This is how many times? Which one you did? Zero, one, two. Yeah. Times three. Yeah. And instead of using zero to three, is it better to use uh, one to four? Uh, okay. Is that the same or different? The same, I think. Yeah. Okay, change it. And then write your break it. Yeah, curly brace. And then closing it. Closing the break it brace. Yeah, push back. Okay. And move the system since as well. Okay. Now what should you do? Each time you need to change your line, right? Yeah. So, so what should you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. That. Okay, wrong. So now you have one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to do one, two, three, four to nine. Then what should you do? Um, change this to ten. Yes. And the ten times, ten lines, uh, line lines. Okay, wrong. Right? Okay, yeah. step right here, step right here. Okay. Now you create a new class called MT3. Okay, this time you clean the inside. No, 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 don't delete that. No. Clean the inside. You just copy the tools inside over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you don't need to change there every time. Okay. 
Okay. Now, okay, over there. Now it's not I. What should I do to make it a multiplication table? Um. Instead of printing I, what should I print? I times. I times I, what? Wait, I. I times. Times I and then plus one. What, what what's that? Uh wait. Um wait, there's no like wait, uh what should I do one scene, one simple scene and then it will become a multiplication table? Uh, you have, you have, you have two number multiplication that become a multi, uh, multiplication there, right? Yeah. One times one, one times two, one times three, one times four, right? Two times yeah. one, two times two. So, so what's the two number you should time together? I and A. And then put I and A. Try. Is that multiplication table? Yeah. But it is ugly. How can I change it to make it pretty? Um, is that, like you put the percent thingy. <laughs> Yeah, then go think about it. How do you change it to make your percentage sense? What's the function you need to use to, to make it a percentage sense? You have three types of print, right? Print line, print, print line, print words, and print formatted. Which one? Print F. Yeah, print F. And then change the print function to print F. No. What's that? Huh? Stop. Okay. What are you doing? You need uh, to change the print function to print F. How come say you're doing that? Oh. There's nothing to do with this. This one? Or oh, this one? Yeah, print F. And what should you put in there? Um, percent. You, you need to put a percentage star first, right? Push the double quote, double quote before the number. Huh? Push the double quote, double quote. Before or after? The percentage is before or after? Before. Before, so before I. You need to have double quote, double quote, comma. Yeah, and inside the double quote, double quote, what should you put? Percent. Percent. How many uh... digits you want? 3D and then space and then delete the plus and double quote at the end. You don't need that anymore. Wrong. Is that okay? Yeah. Now you actually stop here. New class. MT4. Right? Click OK. Then copy the inside over here. OK, paste. Instead of creating a multiplication table, I want you to create an addition table. What should I do? Table? Like adding? Yeah, oh. addition okay. table. Okay, can you just change that? Try. Okay. Is that the right addition table? No. 
Oh, you have to change this to zero and nine. Who said that? Oh, never mind. Is this an uh, addition table or not? No. Why not? Okay. One plus one equals two. One plus two equals three. Why not? Because addition table is supposed to be like three plus three and then six over here, right? No. You you what's the your first row is? Two. Two oh. is what? Two is one plus one, right? Yeah. Because your I starting from one, A starting from one. So that's one plus one. So you check whether you is okay or not. Is that an addition table? No. Why not? Because it doesn't have one. In the third. In. Oh wait, it's like wait. Um wait, it's like adding it horizontally. Wait. You think about it, is that correct one or not correct? Wait, it's like, like, like it does I plus A, and then so I starts at one, and then it goes to nine, and A stays at one. Yeah. Like for the first one. So, then so is that correct or not? Is it the correct uh, addition table or not? No. This one is correct already. What's wrong oh. with you? You you actually did it. Now go back to your orange box window. Create a MT5. Wait, a what? MT5. Oh. Clean whatever stuff it is. Okay. Copy to there. Now I want you to create a multiplication table, 19 by 19. 19 by 19. And draw. How come you need to change to five? Oh wait, because the numbers change, right? Yeah, the number change, but how, how, what is the greatest number you have? 19 times 19. 19 by 19 is how much? Um, 300 something, right? Oh, okay, never mind. Is three digits enough or no? Yeah, wait, three, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wait. And wrong. Is that okay? Then you memorize everything. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Let's give you a 19 by 19 multiplication table. Okay, next one. Next one, let's do what? Let me see. Uh, okay, now let's call it Tali. T A L L Y. Tali. Okay, go. Same thing, clean the garbage out. Okay, now type your public whatever. You can copy from other file and then delete the middle part. Oh, okay. That's, that's easier. Right? Yeah. No, 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 no. All right. Keep the public static void, no. Huh? Keep that part, you just delete the whatever inside the public static void meant. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, copy the same, the whole thing, copy the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then pass. And then remove the middle part, yeah. Okay, good. And then move the pub, public back, yeah. Now, above it, above it, above it, uh, above the public type static string. Three capital T X T equals double quote double quote and semicolon 
Okay, inside there, write me an an uh, inside there, write me a, a paragraph. Whatever paragraph you want to write. Inside a double, yeah, inside a, yeah, right there, type a paragraph, whatever paragraph you want to write. Whatever paragraph you want to write. About, uh, oh, you copy from some text file, you can search from internet. Give me uh, some paragraph. Can I copy this? Whatever, yeah, whatever you want to do. Okay, copy that one. Yeah, copy the two. Put it there. Put it inside the parentheses. Uh, protocol. Yeah, and then maybe you need to break it, right? Yeah. This one is too long, right? So what should you do if it is too long? Put a double quote, double quote, double pro, and plus. Double quote, double quote, double quote. Yeah, double quote. Yeah, right. And then move the move the double quote, yeah, down to the next line, right? Still too long, and then try one more time. Double quote, plus double quote. Yeah, and then move the double quote down. Wait, wait, that's not good. Yeah. Keep the set, keep the, yeah. Good enough, right? Yeah. Now, the, the mission for this one is actually calculate me how many A are in there, how many B are in there, how many C are in there. <laughs> this is a job what I want you to do. Tell me how many A are in there, how many B are in there, how many A to Z. Count it or program? Count it, yeah, count it. You oh. in the program, of course, you in the program. Oh, okay, okay. Now the first step, no, 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 no stop. That's the first step. I, I want, we still want to do tally zero, tally one, tally two, okay? The first step, convert the text to lowercase. You know, because we don't want to make uh, differentiate the uppercase and lowercase. How can you convert the whole text into the lowercase? Um, it's like tar, wait, is it character, and then, wait, no, wait, is that the, wait, I forgot. Go back to chapter six and read uh, how can you create a lowercase. You know, that's why I wait until you uh, finish the chapter six to do some exercise, right? You you actually not know some knowledge, but you actually don't know how, how do you do. Move down to swim part, search for lowercase. You can actually use in the browser, control F, and then type low, Lower case, lower or something. Okay, okay. Here, give you the lower case. How can you convert the lower case? Um, okay. okay, search for next one. This one probably not related. Is there a lower case function or oh, okay, the message is called to lower case, right? Yeah. Okay, go back. How can you convert the function using the to lower case? So actually, it is go back to your fun function. Text equals txt equals no. Your your variable is called text txt. Or you want to yeah equals txt. That that to lowercase. Right, your function is over there. Wait. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon, print this one, see if it is a lowercase. Wait, you haven't printed. Oh. <laughs> I told you to print it, you haven't printed it. <laughs> Yeah, go. Yeah, go. That's your target zero. Okay, whatever. Is that lowercase? Everything lowercase? Yes. Good enough. Okay, go back. Now you copy your tally to tally two.
Yeah, now. Wait, wait, don't change. Yeah, yeah, copy, copy. Okay, in your tally two. Now this time you convert it to lowercase, right? So you come in now that print line. I don't need that print line now. Come in now, uh, okay. And then you, before the tally, before the two lowercase statement, put that system out the print F, uh, print the print, and then this, yeah, the F thing. Double, double quote, best slash F. Okay. And then after that, after that, no, go go down, go down, go down. After that, now, what I want you to do is like count how many characters are there, not including space. Okay. And no period, no something like that. I just want you to, because now everything is in lowercase, right? So I want you to count how many lowercase letter are in the text. So int count equals zero, right? Now for loop, for i equals, wait, wait. Yeah. No, not for loop, you should use while loop. Because right now you don't know, uh, oh, I'm sorry, for loop is okay, sorry. Okay. For i equals, uh, integer, int integer, in equals i equals zero, and then i the same what the whole string. What's the whole string's length? T S T length and parentheses, right? Yeah. And then semicolon i increased, and then parentheses, and then bracket. Yeah. A pair of brackets. Okay. Now inside here, every time you got a a letter, right? So you type if parentheses. How can you check a letter whether it's a a it's a actually uh a, so you type txt dot character x i right? Parentheses parentheses i right? Put an I in there, right? So this is your number I character, right? How can you check this one is a character or not? Is a later or not? How can you check this is a later or not? So you put uh, before the TST, you put capital C, capital C, H, lowercase H character. C H A R A C T E R dot is lowercase is later capital L is later later a word later oh. parenthesis at the end of the character at put another parenthesis put another parenthesis okay now you check whether it's a character or not, what should you do? Count to increase, right? If it is a character, then you increase the count. Yeah. So do increase, increment number count. Yeah, that's good. But you can actually do count plus plus would be fine. You can do that. The, the, the one you write is okay, but you need to do Okay, now print this counter out. No. You need to be outside. Outside the for loop, because inside there you print count every time. So here, system that out of print, saying that total later, they are totally how many letters? Space plus plus count plus double quote space latest. Yeah, good. And then semicolon. Okay, wrong.
185? Yeah. Okay, good. Now you copy this to Tally Suite. Clean out, copy over, yeah. Now this time we already have the count, right? Mm -hmm. Now this time we would like to check how many uh, A, B, C, D, R, right? Mm -hmm. So how can you do with that? How can you check how this letter is uh, A or B or C? How can you do that? Um, instead of doing like character is letter, can you do like character is A? <laughs> yeah, then you need to write 26 9, right? Yeah. So that's not the answer. Um, it's okay, you can you can actually do that, but it's not, that's not the answer. Right? Yeah. So now, uh, after the after the tally three uh, curry brace, over there type another thing, static, string, um, alphabet. After the... Where? After the tally three and curry brace, yeah, over there, type steady, string, then type alphabet, equals, double quote, double quote, semicolon, inside the type A, B, C, D, lowercase A, B, C, D to Z, type for me. A, One space or no space? No space A B C D E F G whatever to Z. Hey hey hey! How comes you type the? Hey, you miss I. Oh. <laughs> A, B, C, D, e, careful. H. Look Not at all of it. Okay. Do you miss anything? Careful. Is that okay? Yeah. Now change the line. After the alphabet, change the line. Steady. Uh, integer. Break it, break it. And then space. Uh, here a count, not count, a count, a count. Yeah, that's the alphabet count, okay? Yeah. And then just, just no, 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 just semicolon. Just semicolon. You want to set it to be all zero, right? So now, I uh, know you actually equals a count equals new space int. Break it, break it, 26. Inside it, put 26. No, oh, inside. Yeah. yeah. And then semicolon. That declare you 26 element, integer element. Is that okay? But um, you actually yeah. put the, uh, it delete the space between int and break it. Okay. Same thing for previous one. Okay. So now you declare 26 A alphabet count, right? Mm -hmm. Now you actually need to check if the letter is you you attack text text the character F is a certain number that you need to put into your A count, right? Can you so, say that again? Now you need to now you need to calculate uh each of the later. If you have a later, right? If you have a later, if if the, the later if the if the character text that character F is a later right you need to put you need to actually uh put if it is an a you need to put increase the a's uh, zero to by one right if it's a yeah. b you need to increase the a counter one by one right and then if it is a b a c you need to increase the a counter two by one right mm -hmm. so you go into your is character uh is character you go back to your loop your character that is later, at the end you put the curly brace. 
per curry brace and then after the cock, cook put on a curry brace. So that's the situation that you have later, right? Now you need to increase the count, right? So center column, uh, no, no, uh, new line. Right here is type A count. Break it, break it. Inside there you put, uh, put what? Um, 26? Uh, no, txt character at. Oh. I break it, uh, uh, I mean, uh, parenthesis, parenthesis, put I in there, and then after parenthesis, after parenthesis, minus, single quote, single quote, uh, lowercase a, okay, and then after the single quote, uh, after bracket, up after the bracket, yeah, double plus, plus plus, semicolon. And it actually can come in out the static string alphabet. That's not used. Come in out the whole line. Oh, no, 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 come in out the whole line. This one? You don't, don't delete it, just come in now. How do I come in? Slash, slash. Oh, oh, that, okay. Then that become useless. No, you, right, wrong one. Yeah, the slash. Now you you have all of the count inside here. Now you need to put in all the A to G out now. You got it already. That one will calculate for you. Oh. The only time you you see if it is an A, you minus A, you will increase the A count zero. If it's a B, you minus A, you will become one. You, you get it, right? So now you outside of the, after the system dot out the print line, write another for loop. Four, and then I equals zero. And I mean, I and T, I equals zero. Right, you need to print out all of the number of the card, uh, alphabet, right? So I less than what? 20, 26, oh. right? I less than 26, total. right? Semicolon, I increase. And then after the process, add, add another one. Yeah, okay. Now you, you uh, system that out of print line. Parenthesis, parenthesis, and then inside the double quote, double quote. Type the later, the later. Oh. Okay, and then outside there, outside there plus plus. Two plus. Two plus, yes, and then in in between the plus, between the plus. Parenthesis, parenthesis, you inside here, you say I plus, I plus lowercase capital uh, A. No, 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 double quote, single quote, single quote, A, single quote, single A. And then outside this, outside this, outside this, outside the parenthesis, outside the parenthesis, outside the parenthesis. Which parenthesis? The, this one, yeah, before before I, the parenthesis oh. before I, put parenthesis, type the C-H-A-R, yeah, and then up to the last plus sign, up to the plus sign, type a double quote, double quote, space inside the double quote, and type a curse. Oops. Occurs space space oh. after the double quote plus plus between plus a count bracket bracket 
put the uh, in between the bracket put i in there after the plus double quote double quote space times okay wrong it Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, go back to reading if you have any question. Go back carefully to read this program. It's called a uh, histogram. Go back to read the program and then tell me what, what, why this happened this way. Study it and tell me why, which, whatever line, how does it work, and then why it will create a, the result we want. Mm -hmm. Carefully study it. You start to explain for me from first line. After you study it, okay, explain to me what that it worked for the first line, what, what that it worked for the second line, what that it worked for the third line, what that it worked for the four, first four loop, and then what that it worked for the if statement, and then what that it worked for the second four loop, and then what is inside of second four loop. Okay. I need you to explain to me. I know it, at this your level right now, you still cannot write this, okay, but Something that is is an AP level question, okay? Mm -hmm. But I, I don't want, I actually don't expect you to be able to solve this, but tell me why this is. So today I teach you three patterns, three different ways of writing program, right? And you must print this program out and study it line by line. Is that okay? Yeah. Whenever you have time. Okay. After you, you, you study it and then after you, you think that like you, you know what it is, tell me whatever, how it works for each line. Um, wait, so for the first line, um, does it, wait, is it like counting, it like gives a thing to count the alphabet? Like, the first line, static int, double, uh, 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 bracket, bracket, that declare an array, right? Yeah. And that array has 26 uh, elements. Yeah. And it started from account zero to account 25, right? Yeah. And each one actually is initialized to have zero in there. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, now that's good. How, how about the second line? That one, like, it tells you what the text is. Yeah, okay, that one tells you what the text is. Now, go back to the main program. The first line is print, uh, uh, purchase for a new, new page. That's okay. Second line, what is the second line? Um, it's to lowercase all of the letters in the text. Yeah, and it should assign the result back to the text itself. Right? Yeah. And if I don't do it, if I don't put the text equals, I just put the text that lowercase, will, will, be, will text be changed or not? Um, no. Mm -hmm. Then how about the next slide? Um, it's starting the count and the count starts at zero. What does the count for? To count how many letters are in mm -hmm. the... Yeah. Now, what, what's next? Uh, and then the for loop. Um, first, it's it, um, wait, the for loop, wait, like the if loop, and then the if loop, Counts how many letters. You have four loop, right? And that four loop actually traverses through all of the characters, right? 
Yeah. And you start in index from zero to uh, earn minus one, right? Earn is the text talents, right? Yeah. Okay, and then each time you get the character at the, the text at, at the plus I, right? one. Right? Yeah. Each time you plus one and you get a new character, and that character you check whether it's a letter or not. If it is space, I don't care. If it's a period, I don't care. If it's a some code or something, I don't care. I just count the letters, right? Mm -hmm. So I increase the count, okay? That part is okay. I, I collect the data or count the number of the letters, right? Mm -hmm. And then actually the next one is count, A count, and then you put character at I minus A. What does that mean? It's like all of, wait, it's all of the letters. Yeah. It's not A. Why is not A? The letters that are not A. No, that's not, that doesn't mean that. Oh. If I have that character, say, the first character I'm lowercase P, right? Yeah. P minus A is what? Huh? P um, minus A is what? Is... P, what's the alphabet order for P? Uh... You go back to your, your alpha path. You go back to your alpha path. On top of A, you type zero. 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 On top of B, you type one. Okay, before zero, you type a slash slash. Yeah, and then move, align it, align it to have A on your, yeah, okay, and then keep typing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Keep typing, keep typing, keep typing. zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well, the one is P. 16. So yes. it's a, so actually P minus A is 16. Yeah. Actually P is the 17th alphabet, right? A is yeah. number one, but P minus A is 16, right? Mm -hmm. I keep typing, keep typing until you finish to G. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Wait, uh, wait, something wrong. You missed something. One, two. You had, you don't have three. Huh? Zero, one, two, three, four. You miss. Oh. Uh -huh. Be careful. You need to be careful. <laughs> you need a six, right? Yeah. Now you know that whatever. Say if Z minus A will be 25, right? T minus A will be 19. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So P minus A will be 15. Then you will increase A of E 15 by one if you see a P. Wait, any, can you say that again? Go back to your A count. Go back to your A count line. If you have P, the first letter is P, right? Mm -hmm. P minus A would be the ASCII code of P minus ASCII code of A. That would give mm -hmm. you 15. So A count of 15 will be increased by one. Oh. Okay, the next one is E, right? E is, how, what is the E's number? It's four, right? Yeah. So E so minus A will be four, then your four A count of four will one. increase by one. Yeah. So that A count is like a basket. You see an A, okay, A throw a ball in there. You saw a B, B throw a ball in there. Something like that. Mm -hmm. That's like the basket. And every time you collect the data, so A count will have the tally for each of the letters. Right? Mm -hmm. Then after that, you print out the number of count, right? Yeah. And then you actually print out for I equals zero to I less than 26. I increase, right? Mm -hmm. And then you print the letter, and then you have the I. I is from 0 to 25 plus A. So it actually, I equals 1, you print out letter A. I equals 2, uh, I equals 1, you print out letter B. B. I equals 3, you would print out D, right? Yeah. Then you print out the A count, I as well. Mm -hmm. So can you understand this program again? Yeah. Now you, you told me whatever it is. I explained for you already. Now you, you tell me how it works. Okay, so the first line, it it's like 
de uh, declaring an array mm -hmm. that has 26 integers. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, mm -hmm. it's declaring the text. Mm -hmm. And then um, the, um, uh, the system that the sun, it's like clearing the screen. And then the one after that makes the text lowercase, it changes it to lowercase. Mm -hmm. And then the one after that, it makes count zero, so it can start counting from zero. Mm -hmm. And then um, the for loop, wait, the for loop, it helps, it like, and then there's like the if loop, and the if loop is like counting, or like first it counts all of the letters, mm -hmm. and then it does the array thing, so it like, um, it takes a letter and then like the number, like which number it is, mm -hmm. and then it subtracts it by A, which is like zero. So then if there is one of them, then mm -hmm. they add one. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it tells you how many letters there are in total. Mm -hmm. And then for this one, mm -hmm. it prints out how many of each letter because um, like it's like a character, and then um, I starts at zero, mm -hmm. and then you add a which is zero, so it starts at a, and then it increases mm -hmm. until twenty five, which is v, and then over here it prints out the number of times each letter. Okay, now you actually uh okay, you go back to your folder, find this file for me. Go back to your folder. Find your folder. You know where it is? I think so. Yeah, you find it. Uh, the project. Who's this? Chapter 5. Okay. Actually, this. Sorry. Uh, no, you go back to upper level. To Blue To Blue To Blue Okay, now you zip the. Zip the. That one. Zip that exercise size 4. No, this no, one. not this one, not this one. Oh. Downstairs, downstairs. Down? Go down, Blue J. Click. Yeah, and then you zip this chapter 5 for me. Okay. No, you have the, no, you click on the, yeah, and then right click. P zip. Uh, no, you add to archive. Add to archive. Mm -hmm. Okay. You show up, click OK. Okay, can you send this to me, the chapter 5 to me? It has like my homework from chapter 5, but I didn't finish what? all of it yet. It has my homework from Oh, chapter... okay, that's good. I didn't good. finish all of it. There's... Yeah, it's okay, but you can... Okay. Yeah. And then go back to, yeah, this one, click. Yeah, whatever. No, you're not pasting. You actually, uh... Wait, wait. Click, yeah, click that one, click that one. And then select the file, the, the file. Uh, select the chapter five for me. This one? Oh, this yeah, chapter one. five, okay. No, 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 it's just open. Click open. Oh. Click oh. open. Yeah, oh. that's good, okay, that's good. We are done for today, okay? Okay. Next time, we'll go back to chapter seven. Okay. Okay, bye now. Bye-bye.